Hello and welcome everybody. Today we got a pretty exciting video for you. Today we're going to be looking into New Zealand's most innovative fishing lures. And yeah, we got our hands on some pretty cool Globite lures. Wes from Globite, Wes Braddock, he is the man behind it all, he sent us uh, some uh, really cool lures. Thanks so much Wes for sending out some Globite lures for us to test. And in this video, we're gonna show you everything about Globite lures, what we have found out so far. So guys, stay tuned and let's get right into it. Shrimp imitation lure, looks like alien. Now these days, Globite lures come in all different shapes and sizes, including soft baits and metal jigs. But the lure that started it all and is probably the most eye-catching lure on our little blue planet is the grumpy fish. This is a slider lure with all the bells and whistles you can imagine. Firstly, this lure looks awesome. It does look uh, like an angry grumpy fish with those big eyes that start flashing in different colors as soon as the lure hits the water. The head of the lure has a built-in non-rechargeable battery, moisture sensitive switch. Just make sure to dry them off after use, otherwise they keep blinking in your tackle box and will drain the battery. The lures also come with two rattles, also known as dinner bells. These add a ton of vibration when the lure slowly moves through the water column, adding to the attraction. We also have a scent dispenser built into the lures. You can squeeze some of those little scent bottles into the front and then it will slowly dissipate out towards the back, leaving a nice consistent scent trail behind. And of course, we got the twin tails, characteristic for those kind of Kabura style slider lures combined with some really strong hooks. Now, you can also get them with squid skirts instead of twin tails, but not just any old squid skirt. These are soft, rubbery and stretchy, almost like real octopus. And as a side note, those squid skirts can also come in quite handy when you're fishing with bait, like I'm using one here with my two hook dropper rig. So yeah, that's a pretty cool addition. The grumpy fish comes in different sizes and weight classes from uh, 60 to 140 gram. The idea with Kabura slider lures is that they sink quickly and when sinking the head will slide down the line and the hooks and skirts follow a little further behind. Once the lure hits the bottom, the head and skirts come back together and you slowly wind them up and repeat the process. Personally, I prefer fishing with as small and light lures as possible. For me, the choice is the 60 gram version for most scenarios. I would, however, love to see an even lighter version of these lures, perhaps a mini 20 to 30 gram version for finesse fishing. Oh yes, he went for the grumpy fish. So the grumpy fish is working. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. On this particular occasion, the grumpy fish was the only lure that actually caught a fish for me. It also caught me a few blue cod in the Marlboro Sounds and Gurnard fell for it as well. And we got a second legal blue cod, guys. The grumpy fish. All in all, I think this is probably the best Kabura slider lure you can get if you like this style of fishing. Now, as mentioned before, I personally love fishing with very small lures. My favorites are micro jigs. This brings me to the next Globite lure, the Globite Micro Flash. This is my favorite Globite lure by far. They come in some cool color variations and you can get them in 20 gram and 30 gram versions. Although they might not look quite as fancy as the grumpy fish, they are easier to fish in my opinion and allow for good casting and uh, fish very well with light soft bait rods. They are also comparably well priced to other micro jigs on the market. I have caught a few kawai with, those, with these jigs, but unfortunately, before I got a chance to uh, get onto the snapper, they got unexpectedly nailed by some barracuda and I lost them fairly quickly. Oh, I lost the micro jig. But I'm sure they are really good uh, for catching snapper and other species on light gear. Yeah. All right, guys. So, big ass car away again. All right, here we go. Here's the glow bite lure we just used for that, just with a standard jig assist hook. Look at this nice strong hook. That hook is awesome. 
So next up, let's have a look at a few Globite soft plastics. I used to predominantly fish with soft baits before switching to micro jigs. The new Globite soft baits are really good looking. We have some baby flounder imitations in different attractive color variations. Then we have the mighty micro baits, which are small three inch soft baits and some cool colors with either pedal tails or they come as jerk sheds. I love these tiny soft baits and many years ago I actually landed my personal best 20 pound snapper on a tiny 3 inch soft bait. My favorites are those shrimp imitations, they have nice wiggle and just the right size and shape for most predators. We caught a lot of kawai on these, with yellow and white being my favorite color for kawai. We got a glow bite mantis shrimp here in bright yellow and white so that's a good color for kawai usually. The jig head is also quite good for trolling that comes with it. Come on. It's going mental here. Mental. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. You man. Go one on. On the glow bite. On the glow bite mantis shrimp trolling. See what that is. I think it's probably a car right? All right. First catch of the day. All right, here we go. So that is a bit of a estuary car way. What's cool about the Globite soft baits is that the packages come with different sized jig heads and uh, also lure clips. So you don't have to tie knots every time you change a lure. The flounder soft baits come with weight worm hooks so they sit flat on the bottom that's pretty cool another glow bite product i really like are the disco clips now these are essentially blinking eyes that are used in the other lures sold separately with a clip attached these are great for land-based uh, fishing surf casting drone fishing you can clip one to your sinker and when fishing in low light conditions or night fishing they will draw the fish in to investigate, increasing the chances that they will find your bait from a fair distance away. We caught a really nice big snapper using disco clips as attractors. These are definitely worth a try if you're a land-based fisher and like to fish after the sun goes down. After dark, I got a really big hit. And we've also been using the disco clip for the first time today and we hooked this one just after dark. I think it was attracted by the disco clip. So the disco clip was clipped to my sinker and the two hooks above the disco clip with some anchovies as bait. Couldn't be happier. Success today. Now here's one more lure that I wanted to show you and this is the Jack Flash Slow Pitch Jig. I got one of these in my subscription box. It looks really cool. Globite has a unique subscription box system where you get a bunch of lures sent to you at the start of each season. That's pretty cool as you get to try out new things and get access to the latest lures. So I had a Jack Flash slow pitch jig in my box. I did give it a try in 50 meter deep water and it will sink down to the bottom in no time. It probably is an awesome lure for big fish but it might require some special heavier gear to fish with. So there you have it guys. That is my overview and my experience with the Globite lures. They are designed here in New Zealand and are surely very innovative. If you get yourself some of these, you support a local business and a bloody good Kiwi bloke. Wes is actually quite active on Facebook himself and on YouTube. He provides regular updates about fishing conditions in the Hauraki Gulf and has a ton of helpful videos on his YouTube channel about Globite lures. So check it out. As always, I will leave the links down in the description. Mm -hmm. right. So we got, a, <laughs> we got a nice cap. Fishing innovators cap. Try right away. <laughs> that comes in handy. 